Hello, I'm going to give you a look at how to remove the DJI Phantom 2 Visions camera and we'll have a look at the servo which controls the tilting function uh, which will benefit those of you that need to replace a damaged servo and you don't feel like sending it into DJI to have repaired. Uh, from what I can tell when I have already looked in here it's a standard micro servo with just a couple of fins removed off that usually are used to screw it onto a surface. Uh, anyway, what you'll need is a, a Phillips screwdriver, a really small flathead screwdriver, and another one that's a little bit bigger. <clears throat> You're going to uh, need to pop off this little uh, side bit covering the single screw on here. There's just one screw in here you need to undo. I'm going to pop off the cover here. And here's our little screw. Let's undo that. I'm using a double zero Phillips, although various sizes will work. Alright. Just give me a second here. I'm doing that. So now with that screw undone. There's a little white plastic piece which goes over the metal gear. Uh, so the way to get this camera off is you'll want to put your little screwdriver in here and try to uh, wedge it out away from the gear. So let me do that now. I'm first wedging this whole camera bit to the side. And now I can see the plastic piece. I'm not sure if you can make that on a camera or not. But um, I have to slide my screwdriver in the side to push it away so I can remove the camera. I need to remove it away and off of the gear. I think I just about got it. Because you got to get that plastic away from the gear so that way you can lift the whole assembly off. So this can take a a little bit of fiddling to do. Okay, I think that does it. Now let me zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> and pull this out to the side. Let me get my screwdriver back here. I have enough of the thing out. Let me go by the notch here so if I can get that plastic to lift out a little bit more from it. Alright. You see that there's a notch here? I want to put this screwdriver by the notch because I can still see the plastic and gain access to it. I'll put it underneath here to try to get it to lift off of that gear. I'm going to need to do that off camera because I can't really see what I'm doing otherwise. So 
So just give me a moment. Okay. So I think that does it. So you know it can just peel off. But before, uh, and then you would just go like here, and there you're off. Pop this off here. Connector off the back of the, sorry, don't have that in frame. Just pulled my little cable off here. <coughs> and now you just take the rubbers off, the rubber bushings. I just squeeze them together, they pop right through. And you have the single cable here. Now I don't know if this is a standard size connector or not that you would get because these micro servers include a connector on them although I'm not sure if it's going to be this one in particular so you might need to do a little splicing cutting and splicing. Uh, so let's take these screws off covering this. They're just uh, three Phillips screwdriver uh, screws. <clears throat> now DJI sells this mounting bracket with this cover but they don't sell the servo by itself. I can't find a part for it and they're kind of scummy for not offering that in my opinion. At least not at this time. So that's something that really needs to be available because these things can fail. But anyway here you go. Head that off. This will pop off to the side. This has a little piece of foam taped onto it. <clears throat> for what purpose I don't know maybe to fit better I don't think it has to do with vibration necessarily but this is what it looks like this to me looks like a standard micro servo I've also checked the measurements it's the same measurements as a regular micro servo uh, only difference being is it doesn't have a fin on either side with a hole that you would use to screw it onto something so it's like a micro servo without these like two little wings so you could probably buy an off-the-shelf micro servo, maybe even one that's higher end than this one. I don't know what the specs are on this other than it's clearly a metal front gear. But um, you might even be able to get a better one that has better response time. But uh, let me show you the uh, measurements of this for your own reference. When I remembered, so from, so this is an inch ruler. You have, uh, and these are each a sixteenth of an inch up into there. So we're looking at so this is thirteen sixteenths of an inch in length from you know, of course, here to there. And uh, if you measure it from here to here, then you're looking at about. 15 sixteenths of an inch. Measure from the top. This piece here. Uh, the width, you're also looking at 15 sixteenths of an inch. So it's one line shy. And the width is 
basically uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 16 7 inch. So you got 7 16 and then 7 16 width and a 13 16 length from here, not including those the fins that you'll find. So that's the length on it. And if you want to know it with the gear itself, measure it in. You're looking at an inch and uh, two sixteenths. So there you have it. <clears throat> now putting it all back is just the reverse process. And the camera ball just pries over this. This is a, just a plastic little ball. Lever on one end. So, you get your replacement servo, hook up your connector as you need to. Remove the, sh the wings that will be on the side when you find your generic servo. And uh, get it all going. So let me screw this back together now. <clears throat> The reason why I got all into this is because my servo died. Um, just stopped working out of the blue. Don't know why. Although I can speculate. But uh, I'm looking to upgrade my servo. So, and of course, if you were thinking about just putting a two or three axis gimbal on your Phantom, then you don't even need to bother with this because that replaces the whole the whole assembly. But for those of you who want to get your stock servo up and running, if it dies for whatever reason, this is how you gain access to it. And basic info on replacing it. Um, in the description of my video, I'll give more information on suggested servo types you can use as a replacement and whatnot. And if I end up replacing this with my own servo rather than sending it back to DJI because it is still under warranty but then I'd have to pay for shipping all that other stuff it would end up costing me more than doing my own deal so I might just replace it myself with a generic uh, so let me show you this uh, Give you a quick look at this piece here. Um, you see, this is the this goes over the gear. All right, let me and and it pops out this way, just to give you a, a little more of a look at it. So when you buy a servo, they will come with its own plastic piece on the side, and I just dropped it. Um, you'll, you could of course reuse this one or you could cut the other one a shape that you're going to get with your replacement servo and uh, let me put this back on the side here just fits right in you're not going to want to push it in all the way because you're going to wait till you actually put this back over the assembly over here until you do that so let's do that now just gonna put on one side and I'm gonna leave it at a slight angle because my servo is not working so at least with it tilting down a little bit I can get some views so put one side in first then pry this over over the gear and then what you're gonna do is make sure that you have this centered over the gear 
and then push this in, push this plastic piece down over it. But um, let me find the angle that I want to get for mine, because I want to leave it at a slight angle, since mine will not work right now. That screwdriver. I'm pushing this in over the gear. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. The screw will push it in the rest of the way. Let me get my screw in. Of course, this is all a little bit harder because I have the cables attached to this for my intent, external antenna mod. Let me just put this down here. Use my screwdriver to line it up. Trying to frame everything up in the camera makes this whole process a little bit more cumbersome. All right. Okay. Let's see, do I have it? All right, it's in. You just have to push a little inward, or inward pressure to get the screw to catch. Make sure it's snug. Put your uh, cap on the side again. That's done. Put my lens cap back on. Put my connector back together over here. There's only one way it can go, so. My connector is back on. And then you just squeeze these back through. And that's it. And then you finish off with the last two. But that's that's it. Of course, unplug your thing back in here. Plug your piece back in the back. Put your last two in, and you're done. And I have my thing at a bit of a downward tilt, so I can get some better views for the time being until I get my servo sorted out. And anyway, that's about it for now. <clears throat> Please like and subscribe.